Anyway, All right. Hello, my name is Dan and I'm a developer. I'm not a scientist, but I've just got thinking about chemicals and maybe there's something we can learn from the periodic table about the web. It's basically the thing. So I kind of think of social objects in a, on the web being pretty much anything that can link to anything else. Which is pretty much the whole web. It doesn't narrow it down at all to begin with. It's brilliant. Everything's a social object. Everything has properties, it's got identity, and it's got relationships with other things. Um, which is why I think of the periodic table as well. Because all of these social objects have different types. You can put a photo, a video, bits of text, anything. And all of these things can link to each other to make a page, a compound. A lot of different, a lot of the same social objects. You have different properties in terms of like, uh, I can do with video, photos, or just straight copy. Social networks, and those social networks, obviously I'm not going to stand up here and tell you all how to sh uh, suck eggs, but certainly through the likes of Twitter and Facebook, we want to get people talking about it, sharing the information in their news feeds. Um, and it was also about creating sort of... right through the web. You can use tags like events like this through any of the social media sites to help people find relative content. So people that are videoing or taking photos tonight may use that SMC MCR tag. And you can probably use that on any of the sites that people around here would use. And you'll find all this stuff. So tagging is immensely powerful. We should have had these Saying that, I mean, you're suggesting, I, I think it's quite right as well that, that you know a lot of things are going to move out of context and you're going to need to, like businesses and, and, and individuals you need to focus more on consistent messages and things. But I'm just wondering, like, uh, how many people have that kind of consistency? But, I mean, I know, like, you know, like Richard Ashcroft said, there are a million different people from one day to the next. You know? It's just how you're going to keep that consistency in all these different media elements. Actually, I know somebody who's developing <laughs> a similar thing that and, will and do that. And the thing that. is that everything we're doing now is recorded for perpetuity. You know, it doesn't, everything that's said, done, anywhere is recorded. And somebody will create a black box that strings it all together by magic. And, and it'll take the owner's part of the crap. Yeah, the crap. The thing that people are criticising everything all the time anyway. Um, just now with the web, like you said, it's, it's persistent, it's mm. there for a long time. People have always criticised the chemical. It's just it's now they've got a big opportunity to say it. The problem, you remember in... in had an idea about CFAX and Teletext and everybody got involved and got really nostalgic and started to do lots of different things, didn't they? And you decided to do bingo. Yes, by accident. So, and I think this is going to deserve a big round of applause from all of you. Dave, me, came up with Teletext Bingo. Here we go. Hi everyone, um, well welcome to uh, the CFAX evening, CFAX Teletext, depending on which channel you're on. Um, it's the Teletext CFAX evening at Social Media Cafe Manchester. Um, so, I'd like to introduce my glamorous assistant. Grab any ball. <laughs> yes, it's BBC Information and Contact. If you're trying to find someone at BBC Teletext <laughs> to give you a prize, for a bingo event you're running, don't bother with this page. That's 695, we don't answer these letters. I thought you were calling me a liar. I wasn't lying, I was telling what it's on the screen. 458. Let's talk about the first time you used CFAX, what, what, what were you doing? What were you looking for? experimenting? Or were you looking for something specific, like news or weather? Tell me a little bit about that. 
it probably would have been football related the first time I used CFAX. Uh, there used to be a great thing uh, on page 338.